Alright guys, I'm doing another video here. This will be my third video. As you can see, a lot of my uh, clown baby eggs are pretty much almost gone. Uh, the male is really rough when he uh, fans them, and when they pick at them, I lose a lot of them. But, um, let me see, yeah, I'll we'll probably brush them. But anyways, um, I did move my clownfish babies out of the 2.5 gallon into the 10 gallon tank. Um, I did lose a few of them just due to the fact that, like I said, the ammonia would spike and because it's a smaller tank. But what I'm going to do with this next batch that I'm going to get is um, I'm going to keep them in there for the first five days until they go through metamorphosis and then I'm gonna just acclimate them into the 10 gallon but that's the babies right there is one of them um, should be another one down here somewhere hiding behind the filter and, and there's one right there too kind of barely see them camera's not focusing and let me see if it focuses Nah, it's not gonna work. Should be another one back there in that little corner. He's hiding back there. Can't see him as well. But anyways, um, that's what's going on. I have all my brine shrimp uh, babies that hatched. So I'm just waiting for my hatchery for the brine shrimp so I don't have to use up one of my reef acclimate boxes to hold it up. So it's kind of ghetto right now, but... That's pretty much what's going on. Uh, I did get my sponge filter. That's what it looks like. It's supposed to remove the ammonia and the nitrates. And it won't harm your baby clownfish. So that's another good thing. Um, other than that, I'll keep you guys posted. And I'll let you know how everything's going. Thanks.